Hey folks and welcome back to Shaggy's Car Shop. On tonight's episode I'm going to show you how I uh, mounted my air conditioning pump and my alternator to my homemade serpentine belt system for this 472 caddy motor. Alright without any further ado let's get to it. folks so the first thing I did to get this air conditioning pump on here is this little tab right here so if you remember the edge of this thing was perfectly square or well as square as they cut it I guess it was square um, and as what I did is this little tab is two and a half three inches long and I measured over or I measured on my pump in between the tabs and it came out the halfway mark was two and seven sixteenths so I measured over two and seven sixteenths and marked it and then this tab is just long enough I want to say it's just a smidge over two and a half I guess but I put that right at the bottom and then heavy welded it in so now I have a spot where I can grind out a divot in here so that air conditioning pump can mount right there with two bolts and that should be enough to hold it right now until I can make a back bracket that'll mount off of the engine so then it has actually four bolts holding it in but all right once this cools down I'll bring you guys back and show you my template I made and how we're gonna go from there all right folks so as you can see or maybe not too well so I have four little holes punched in here. So that lower one there and that lower one there are the tabs that'll actually mount the air conditioning pump. And you can barely see a scribe line right there showing where the tab's gonna be up to that hole. And then it goes straight across to that one. And then you probably can't see it because of my grind marks, but there's another scribe line right there to show where that other tab is going to be. So is what I did is I took my air conditioning pump and carefully with the scissors cut and cut and cut and cut and marked the holes and everything. And then I taped this on here, something like that. It's not perfect right now. But then I went and center punched my two holes and then where this cuts across. This one went a little higher because this was the top side, but I'm going to tilt it. Um, so it doesn't need to be up quite that high. But, and then I center punched where the edge of the tabs were. So then I can get a straight cut across. Because I'm doing this with a, uh, well, with a little death wheel. And uh, some other hand tools in my garage on the floor. And a little drill press so it's kind of difficult that's why I'm not filming all of this because it just takes forever of grinding so in theory what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a grinder cut right up to that hole maybe down at slight angle over here so then all I got to do is grind off just a little bit do the same thing on this one and then I'm gonna grinder cut straight in between them and then come from the backside and then clean it all up and then punch these out with the proper size holes and then it should fit should being the key word fit beautifully up in here all right let me get this cut out and i'll bring you back and show you how far i got anyway all right i'll be right back with you all right folks there it is roughed out um I already fit my pump in here and tweaked it with a file just where I needed to. Um, one thing I might run into, I don't know, depending on where my alternator sits, is I'm going to have to figure out something for bolts. Probably more so on this side. I don't know if I can find a flat one with a Allen head through it, something. I'll figure something out though. 
Um, but the other thing I got to do is just to get my pulley spacing right, I got to weld a quarter inch shim on the back side of these and then drill it again. But uh, yeah, other than that, there it is roughed out a little bit. Um, again, I'll probably nick this off, round this off, round this off. Do all of that once I clean this whole thing up. Alright folks, mind the alternator hanging there. But there it is, the uh, air conditioning pump hanging off of this. So now you kind of get an idea. Now I think these screws, well, at least that one. Maybe, maybe not, depending on how... How far I can get this alternator up in I got to do a little work right up here but this one for sure will be getting in the way so I did find some bolts today that were a Allen head and a lot lower profile so it shouldn't hinder the belt um, but yeah there it is hanging and then I don't know how well you guys can see it. Maybe you can right there what I'm pointing at. Right there. I also marked for my other pulley. It's going to end up going about right there. That this belt will go around. And this belt will go around. And back to the crank. Okay. So the reason I marked it as far, I guess, to the driver's side of the car as I can is you see I have a little bit of room right in here in between where my oil filter goes and the edge of my air conditioning pump now if for some reason I don't have the space here I should have enough space going this way but I know that's right where that control arm comes and I'm, I'm building this off of pictures I know one of my commenters hit me up about it today um, but if that control arm tower or anything is in the way of these air conditioning lines or I just don't have enough clearance, I can move this over roughly an inch, inch and a half this way. I mean, that'll, that'll involve me cutting this off, moving it over, welding it all back in, hopefully Hopefully I don't have to do that. I'm hoping. I'm, I'm again building this off pictures of when this was mounted in the car without fenders or anything. Just kind of looking at structure of the car. But hopefully this will work. Alright, let me take this all back off of here. Um, as you can see, this alternator I think came out of my 01 Duramax, something like that. Um, it was just a spare alternator I had laying around. <sighs> so I'm using this for mock-up purposes because I didn't buy my new one yet. Um, but should be the same alternator, I think, between 01 and 07. Same general idea. And if the 07 one doesn't fit, then I guess I'll buy another 01. Doesn't matter. I'm just kind of cobbling this together. But it hits when I tip it up and I want to go up just a little higher because I plan on making a bracket up off this top side here. Let me get you a little better angle. Up off this top side, kind of welding it here, similar to what I did down here, only up off this top side. But I want to see if I can get this to spin back just a little bit. All right, folks, let me get that adjusted and then I guess tighten this bolt up and build myself a, uh, a cardboard template for what I'm going to need to adjust up on this top side or cut out of uh, some remaining plate steel I got and see if we can get this together. All right, I'll be right back with you. So I got this uh, little tab welded up on here so as what I did is if you remember how it just looked with this squared off I just took my angle grinder and zipped that off and then I tipped this up about where I wanted it 
And then, after tightening this so it would stay, I just built a cardboard template of the piece of steel I wanted, cut it out, and then welded it on right along here on both sides, around in this corner. Now, I just got this hole drilled, and let me grab the bolt. Oh, this is a little more difficult with one hand than I thought. All right, let me set you down just one second. All right, there you have it, folks. The alternator's mounted in here solid. I don't have these bolts in. And again, just like on my uh, air conditioning pump, I'll show you off the back side here. So I took quarter inch plate steel, welded around on both of these, and then just ground it even. And again, I gotta go through and clean all of this up. But I'm gonna have to do the same for my alternator because of where it sits in correlation to the plate steel. And I figured measuring about a quarter inch, moving it a quarter inch back, should line my bolt, uh, my belt up with all the rest of my belts. And uh, should be good from there. Um, yeah. All right, let me bring it right back and uh, that'll be it for tonight. All right, folks, that's all I have for tonight. Um, again, this is just kind of roughed out. This little tang built up here so I can mount my alternator um, and I have to space this back out so it's in pulley alignment. Same thing with uh, my air conditioning pump. Um, I have to go get a pulley. I already have the pulley, I just need the bolt and the uh, spacer just like off of, well it's actually off of one of the uh, pulleys that goes right here. Um, I have to build a a bracket for the back side of this power or power steering. Ha! Huh, that's on that side. Uh, air conditioning pump, so it can um, mount up because I I want more than just the front two bolts on here. Um, so yeah, other than that, mounting this pulley, that bracket, and then maybe a bracket for that power steering pump on that side. Cleaning up my welds and uh, cleaning this up so it doesn't look as much like I made it in a home garage um, yeah I don't know I'll see if I can find something design wise to put in there um, yeah I think I'll uh, do one more video I'll kind of go over a few of the measurements I used uh, again this I just kind of rough cut it out I can give you the measurements of the plate where I generally cut it how far I, I it out yeah, excuse me, is out from the block. Again, give you all the part numbers or put them down in the description on the next video. But then if you're uh, adventurous enough and try and uh, build one of these on your own, and again, who knows if this will actually work like I want it to. I might end up having to come back to this and moving it over. We don't know. We'll see when we get it into the car. But for tonight's video, I think we are through. But uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.